guys, welcome to the very first episode ever of Mouse Ears Eat. Okay, so today we're making Mickey Mouse sugar cookies. I have already pre-baked our cookies, but um, I just use like a sugar cookie mix in a bag. You can use whatever sugar cookie recipe you love, whatever your favorite is. And so, but if you are making it on your own and you're like, not old enough to use the oven alone, make sure you get a parent's help. So just to make it easier, I have a little ball of dough that I saved. I'm not gonna make it, I mean, it, it's just the dregs, I guess. So what I'm doing is I'm just flattening it out, and I have my butter knife, and I have some flour in a bowl, and what I'm doing is I'm just flattening out the dough big enough to make the little Mickey, a little Mickey shape. So just flatten it out. And normally when you have regular dough, it's a lot bigger, but this is just a tiny little ball, just enough to make one cookie. I'm gonna take my butter knife and I'm gonna cut one big circle. So once you have your circular piece, you're gonna cut two circles on the sides of the head, a little bit smaller. And it's okay if you cut into the main circle because we're gonna patch it all up. Once I've finished cutting my really nice circles, yours will look better, uh, seriously. And then I'm just gonna push in all of the lines and make sure that they're closed so when we take it out, it'll look really good. And I'm only gonna pull off the top. Uh -huh. You know what, I'll just and you can shape them a little bit more, just to make it look a little bit more like a mouse and not something weird. All right, so this is what yours should <laughs> relatively look like. Make it a little bit, make it a little more. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this off to the side. I don't, I don't want to check anymore. Mickey ended. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of my more derpy cookies, such as this one. And what you're gonna need to decorate them is these little Mickey sugar decals. I got these at Joann Fabrics, they're from Wilton. They're like $2.99. They're really easy to find. Um, you don't have to use these, but just in case I get lazy, these are optional. In case you get lazy and tired of making Mickey faces, I can just stick them on black cookie icing and you need white. So black and white cookie icing. And these, they're also from Wilton. I love Wilton's products. These are Wilton Food Writer pens. They're edible pens, don't eat the pens. But um, I got the pack with the pink, green, orange, and black. So that's what they look like. I love the orange in the box. And um, pink and black are what you're gonna need. You don't need the pink but the black is really, really important. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our black cookie icing. I microwaved it for 30 seconds on a um, power level five. So make sure that you microwave it first. And it doesn't, it doesn't taste like horrible. It's pretty good, not, not like none of those horrible gel Icings. Oh, it's really runny. Okay. So just outline your cookie. Don't mess up. And I'm just going to lightly fill in the ears. And you don't need much. You can spread it. So once you've filled in your ears and didn't done the outline, um, I'm going to take my white cookie icing and fill in the rest what it should look like is this sort of a derp thing. So that's one cookie. And now I'm going to do a little bit more of a complex Mickey on my, my model cookie. This is the best cookie. So once again, your black icing, your black runny icing. <laughs> Outline all around the face. Don't get too close to the edges if it's runny because it will run off your cookie and make a giant mess like mine just did. Okay, <laughs> now this is a little bit more complex. You're gonna do 
a big like McDonald's M and then bring it out to the sides. If you mess up, it's okay. Cause it's big and we can get messy. And then you're gonna bring it down and you can get a picture of Mickey. I don't need cause I'm a little obsessed with Disney. But if you're a new baker um, or a new Disney person, new to Disney, then you can look up a picture. It's easy to find. Just Google Mickey. You'll find it. I promise. And then just do your regular fill-in of the ears. I'll fix it later. And then with the rest of your cookie, it's kind of a weird Martian looking shape. Take your white cookie icing and fill that in. When it dries, it will dry hard and it will dry flat. So once it's dried, I'll hard and flat for you. Um, which mine aren't. It'll start to get a little bit hard on the top. You can take your black food writer pen. <laughs> take your black food writer pen. Boop. And, uh, oh, I'll write on the dough. Because I can't write on the cookies. So I'm just going to take a little bit of dough and show you how to draw. So, you're just going to draw like a horseshoe with a line at the bottom. You know how to draw cartoon eyes, everyone knows. So like those silly little faces and then just draw your But then, for your nose, it's kind of hard to get the perspective of Mickey's nose on a cookie. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a shape like this, like a, a frown face. It's like a frowny. And you're going to draw the eyes on top. So I'll just do a quick Mickey face here. It's not going to take that long. All right, so once you have your eyes on the frowny face, you are going to draw a big, wide, black oval for his nose. And then, and the sides that go out on his facial, sh facial shape, blah, um, just draw a happy smile, and then draw like a, a mini smile underneath. And then with your pink food writer pen, this is optional, you can fill it in to make to make him look happy. So this is my earless Mickey little piece of cookie. So it should look something like this once your icing is dry. Now that our cookie has dried for one hour, make sure that you've dried it for one hour or more, I put it in the fridge just so it would dry faster. We're gonna take our black food writer pen and remember the tutorial that I showed you earlier in the video. I can put a skip time down below so you can see. So I'm just going to draw really lightly. This already looks fabulous. And I'm going to draw it towards me. And remember your horseshoe, so you're going to draw your two horseshoes. Okay. There's his horseshoe eyes. I'm going to turn it back. And I'm going to draw the frowny face. The shape wasn't enough for you. There's his nose and the frowny face. And now finally, you're gonna draw the big happy Mickey smile. Ta-da! These cookies look so cute. I'm so happy with the way they turned out and the way my first episode turned out. I was really worried that it wasn't going to look as good as it does, and I'm super happy. So Mickey's all happy. He has his cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here are my cookies. These are the best ones of the other ones. I just don't want to show you. I managed to salvage my model cookie, and I think it looks pretty okay from looking as it did. This is our Mouse Ears Eats logo cookie. My favorite, this is the cutest cookie ever. It is my Mickey cookie with my special Mickey face on it, and it looks great, and they taste good too. So, thank you so much for watching Mouse Ears Eats, and make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe, click the button down below, thumbs up, and I'll see you next Saturday for more adorable eats. Bye.